I'm Corey. I'm Jacob. And we're Living, Living in Diz. Diz. Right behind us is a big star. <gasps> what does that mean? It means we're at All Star Music. So we're going to show you everything, the ins and outs of All Star Music. And if we come up with any tips or tricks, we will be sure to pass those on to you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Goes a long way. So let's go. Here's an outside shot of the beautiful Disney's all-star music. Supply truck. Here's Living in Diz's Orange Water Review. Because it's cheap. That's good. So here's our orange water. Your thoughts on the orange water in the lobby? It kind of... It tastes like normal water, but just like a little, just a tiny, like the tiniest bit. A little bit of orange kick, right? Yeah. A little bit of orange kick. If if you're the type that will taste something and it's too much water and not enough um, flavoring, this is not for you. But it's water, it's cold, it's free, it's in the lobby. Drink up. Here's some theming on the wall. Here's another area where the kids can stay and wait and watch while you check in. This is interesting. Oh, I think it's headphones with Mickey ears. That's pretty neat. Here's the Maestro Mickey gift shop. And basically here's an overview of what it looks like. And here's a quick look at the merch. What they basically do is give you a little bit of a few items and um, it's nice to come in and browse before you go out to the parks or after. Um, just a little something to do to look at things. So let's take a look. Just as like the other resorts, we have theming on the walls and we have musical artists, of course. Taylor Swift, Elvis, Beatles, among others. We also have the cast member wreath decorating contest here at All Star Music. And these are all created by cast members. And you can vote on them. We'll give you a quick look at all the different versions of their wreaths. Look at that one with Groot. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And a Mickey one. Groot As you walk down, you've got your arcade. With these huge video screens. Bigger than your kids. One tip on the rapid refill mugs as we come along, and I'll show you which one of those look like in case you have not seen them before. They look like this. You purchase them here, $18.99, and they're good for any self-serve location, not in the parks. 
So um, it's good, and um, you know you can you can refill it anytime you want. As good as as long as your stay, but you are not able to return with these. So remember that they are not reusable once your stay is done. And lastly, I can say one tip I probably don't have to tell you, but I'll throw you a tip: is refill it and take it to the park. And after that, you can fill it with water. Here's an overview of a little bit area of the area where you can eat and the cash registers. And here are the different areas that serve the different things. So they're all designated for different things. We've got desserts here, which we will take a closer look at because we should. Um, but you've got an area here where you create your own Southwest Bowl, which is kind of neat. And over there you have your burgers and your meatball subs and things like that. What we found is a lot of um, what would happen with our family, everybody has their own taste, different likes, different things they want. So we basically split up when it's dinner time and um, go to our separate lines if needed. And then we just meet in the middle here when we're done. We have some different snack options. We have some really unique cupcakes here. Look at that, the Mulan cupcake. Look at that. Look at that one. That looks like that looks like a Mickey with a sorcerer hat. Is it? I don't know though. I see I see Mickey ears there. It's a rainbow unicorn. Oh, it's a rainbow unicorn cupcake. Look at that. And that one right there. And a holiday cupcake. And a festive Mickey dreamsicle cupcake. I could just eat all of these right now. I'm amazed by this donut. Nope. This is a pull apart spice cookie tree. And that's a real interesting brownie. That's very interesting. These are all snack option items. If you have snacks on your dining plan, you can go ahead and use them. Here's the market area where you get all your different drink needs, fruits, beverages, all that good stuff. Here's another big portrait here, photo of the new Mickey artwork right here in the food court. There's an overview of your self-serve station, condiments and drinks, and more seating down there, which there's plenty of seating, even the busiest of times. Jacob says, let's get outside. Uh, well, they automatically open, so I think the door said it. Let's ah, go. the door said it. Here we go. What pool is not complete without a pool bar? The name of this pool bar is Swinging Spirits. You can sit there while the kids enjoy themselves there. Let's check it out. And of course, conveniently right by the pool is men and women's bathroom right there, as well as uh, laundry needs. Caroline, ba ba ba. Just have to do it, right? So good, so good, so good. Like we've mentioned before, every set of stairs coming off each building has a theme. We've got bongos. There's a staircase in there. Way to go, Imagineers. So, to give you some referencing, we are now at the other end of the large pool and we need to walk all the way down there to get through some of the music resort and get you to the smaller pool. So let's go check it out. This is the smoking area straight through where everybody has to pass through if they've got to come to this smaller pool or 
one of their um, rooms, which we've stayed in before down here. And you've got to walk smack dab through the smoking area, which stinks, literally. We just smelt a bunch of smoke as we came through. Not good planning by Disney. Not good planning. Action. So this is the second and other pool that is in this resort, and it's the smaller and quieter pool. That's true. With small size comes small noise. It's usually quieter at the smaller pools. The staircase. Yep, it's another staircase. It's an amplifier. Pretty cool, right? And with an amplifier comes rock. Here's your rock section with your guitar theming. And we have a jukebox in the middle. Let's go check it out. The theming on the rails, music notes, and records. Records? What's a record? What's a record? I don't know. What could it be? <laughs> and here, we've got a vintage car here, as well as a jukebox style archway. Sweet. The last theme we're going to cover here today at All Star Music is country. So if you're a country fan, you prefer to stay in the country section. It is in the back of the resort, and you do have the small pool right near it. That would be my words of wisdom. And we have big cowboy boots. Who could fill those shoes? Notice the hidden Mickey on the front. This is the back side of the pool. This is the building where you can do your laundry. And right there, we've got red knobs. And those red knobs on an amplifier, as that guy just revs his engine nice and loudly, he can't help it. Ha. So that red, those red knobs there, that's where you would take your speaker wire and wrap it around that and turn the knobs. What do you think about that? You're just so old. So if you're comparing right down the middle over at All Star Sports, where it's a football field all the way down, they've chosen to make a street, a fake street. That's impressive. And it is Wall Street, but it's like in Broadway. So how cool is that? We've got the theming right there. Again, musical notes. We have top hats and canes with tuxedos. Look at that. We're walking down 34th Street. This is amazing. Oh, we've got to see the entranceway. I have never seen this before. Look at this. This is so amazing. All the newest and latest and all the movies and Broadway shows out. And that's where you would enter these rooms. Wow. And look at this. We've got more right here. That's impressive. Very, very impressive. Hope you had a good time. Hope you learned some information. You can contact us in the comments for any suggestions or questions. Right now, I'm um, Corey. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell and share with your friends on Facebook. Because it means a lot to us and it can go very, very long. It sure can. Goes a long way. I'm Corey. I'm Jacob. And we're living, living in Diz. Where else do we live? <laughs>